So we've been talking a lot about all these influencer streamer pro gamer games. You know, we've got X Defiant, which is led by former Call of Duty pro. You've got Dead Drop with Dr. Disrespect on the founding and amongst the founders. Shroud and Sacriel making a survival game. You got the 100 Thieves game. Well, there's a there's a new contender, kind of, which we'll get into that in a second. Project V was announced this past week. This is OK. I'll let you reply first, but this game was announced as the next battle royale will be made by the players. That 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 was their exact marketing line. The next battle royale will be made by the players. This game is being marketed as being made by Ninja, Courage, Tim the Tatman, Nick Merks, and Cipher PK. And Cipher mm -hmm. PK is like Fortnite creative. Studio. Cypher PK has a studio called uh, Studio uh, Super Joy. Sorry about yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's called Super Joy. They're actually located in Austin, which I had no idea. Hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I thought that was really interesting because I was really skeptic at first. I was like, oh, you've got big heads with their names saying they're making a game. Yeah. Jesus, how much? What's next? What's what's absolutely going to happen next here? Is Mary going to make his own game next? Yeah, um, <laughs> thinking about and, it. And I was actually pleasantly surprised to know that they were using the Unreal Engine Fortnite editing tool yeah. uh, to make this game. Do you think that's a um, good idea or bad? I think that's an awesome idea. I think that's super great, actually. I love that they're doing that, and they're not trying to do something that they're not completely unfamiliar with, which mm -hmm. is create a, ground, a studio from the ground up like mm -hmm. Doc has, mm -hmm. uh, like, and try to just be something that they're typically not i think it makes sense to use the fortnite editor tool Mayor because Simulator. all five of these players <laughs> uh all five of these uh content creators i feel like they know exactly what they want to play mm -hmm. and given the tools to do that it's like this has been a long time coming we've always had this kind of like expectation that like games with editor tools will take us to the next mm. uh journey of esports mm. and it kind of hasn't to be honest like we've seen like game editing tools built into stuff like it's more Nokia, good Forge for halo viral content and community like community like, yeah it, it, it yeah just it keeps the game buzzing not yeah. esports really yeah and uh what from what we've seen from the from that engine from that tool is that's very powerful and like there's oh, sure. a lot of opportunity that you can do with that so yeah. I'm actually super stoked. They promised like a lot of things, like customized weapons and stuff like that. That mm -hmm. won't be anything like Fortnite. Um, custom characters. I literally, I, as soon as I saw the image before reading everything, I was like, that looks like Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. Um, it, it is Fortnite. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm actually really stoked to see what they can do with this. I have, I'm of two minds on this. And, and my second mind it is really based on the way that they announced this. That, that bothers me and rubs me the wrong way. So I think it is smart business of them, some of the biggest streamers in the world, to get together, as other streamers are doing. Again, they're, they're branching out, doing new things, uh, good, always good, diversify. I think it's good business of them to, to do this together and uh, to, to do it, you know, to capitalize on their audience in a new way. I think it's very possible what I'm imagining they're going to build is like a map, a battle royale map for Fortnite, all their own, like studio. What is it? Super Joy. Super Joy. Super Joy will build this map with the input of these five streamers. Some of them have professional experience. Um, and, you know, they'll have they'll have their own weapons and there are some, you know, their own unique, some new game mechanics and stuff. I, I, I think what it's probably going to come out like is like feeling like it is basically like a Fortnite mod is uh, is how I'm em envisioning it. Mm -hmm. These tools, as you said, are amazing. The Unreal Editor thing in, in Fortnite creative mode is absolutely nuts. Um, so that's what I'm envisioning is like almost like a standalone. Hey, we built our own thing. The, the, the problem that I have is that they announced this as they, they didn't blatantly say it, but they heavily leaned into like we are making our own game. And that that's that's I know it's really hard. To, how, how do you market to people and get them to understand it's not a standalone game? It's an experience within Fortnite and generate excitement. So I, I think it's not even like a bad idea to have it be an experience within Fortnite. And like you said, to use the tools that they're actually 
capable of using an experienced super joy experience i just had a little problem with them saying like the next battle royale because i read that and immediately i'm like a new game right that's what i'm thinking and i think a lot of people did and that was the only real problem i have and i do kind of think though i think in their mind I'll, I'll i'll let you answer this and then i'll answer it what do you think they want from this so once this is released uh, and don't just say money because obviously that is what they want from it. But but what do you think their vision is for this thing? Like, okay, it's out. Like, it's out tomorrow, and it's out twenty twenty four. By the way, guys, what yeah. what do you think their goal for it is? I think they just want to make a game, honestly. Yeah. And I don't I don't think it'll be as cut and dry as you think it will be. I think the editor tools showcase in a way that we recognize that that's clearly a Fortnite product. Mm -hmm. um and it's quite literally in the name but even epic was saying you can make they were saying you will be oh they've able shown to make insane stuff yeah you can make your own game like we when you say within fortnite i know you mean that as a general umbrella term of saying yeah. like this is just what it is yeah and that's not wrong uh but at the same time i do want to give the benefit of the doubt that they mm -hmm. believe that they could create something a little bit more unique and authentic that's still separate from fortnite Right. Uh, without just saying it's a Fortnite custom game. No, um, but I think it has to. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. They can't yeah. release it outside of Fortnite as a standalone. Like you, they can't release it as like a Project V. Yeah. But what I, what I mean able, is, it'll yeah. be, it'll be. We've seen people make hyper realistic mech games with this un, Unreal editor. Like I'm not saying it'll be like exactly like Fortnite. I just mean it is literally contained within Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah, I think they just want to make a game. And honestly, I actually don't think that all five of these millionaires are going to come together to sit in a room and say this is what they see and what they want out of the video game. Yeah, uh, especially especially Tim. God bless his heart. They'll make um, one video but, of them all doing that together one day. Yeah, one day. I'm pretty sure they're all just funneling then their like their own funding for this and yeah. just letting Superjoy run with it. They'll play and, test it and stream yeah. it, promote it, market it. I, it's a very i expected this of them not to make a game but to do some sort of like collaborative project yeah like all all these streamers are extremely tight with each other they all play with each other they they do exactly what they want all the time mm -hmm. they're so they have like this own little like posse group of just yeah them. sure so sure. i'm not surprised that they're doing something like this but a game was a little left field i was not expecting it I, here's my cynical prediction for what i think will happen with this I think it'll come out. I think it'll probably be pretty solid. I, I think it, it, it'll it probably be a decent... Like, I've heard that uh, Superjoy is pretty talented. They've done some good stuff. I think they'll market it. I think, like, they'll have some, like, big tournaments for it themselves. You know, like, they'll sponsor the events. You know, like, $50,000... Project V is not the final name, but $50,000 Project V tournament. And and I, I think it'll it'll probably be the most successful Fortnite creation whatever you want to call whatever you want to call it unreal editor within fortnite creative mode all the above uh creation of all time like the impressions will be through the roof the plays will be through the roof i think they'll do tournaments for it and stuff and then i think within like four months it's gonna go way off a cliff and everybody will forget about it but they'll have made their money and i i do think it'll be a, a success in that regard though. Like I, I think yeah. it'll go down as probably the biggest Fortnite creation of all time. Yeah. I think it'll, it'll definitely lose its hype. I don't know if, I don't know how big super joy is as a studio, but I know that they may not be at the capacity to, uh, service this as a game as a service as it's. That's what I mean. Need to be. Unless they can uh, literally convince Epic to make it part of like, that's what I was official, gonna get to next. you know, some type That's what of... I was going to get to next. I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up becoming a product that they ended up selling to Fortnite, and maybe it does become its own like own .exe file, you know? Uh, maybe it's something that will eventually be owned by Epic. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they wanted to do, because that would be the best form and the of ball off to them. immediate income. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? But uh, no, I have, I have absolutely zero expectations that all of these streamers maybe cypher because cypher is actually on site uh he lives mm -hmm. in austin so he'll be able to actually go to the studio and like mm -hmm. see everything but i i actually genuinely doubt that everybody here is like pitching in and some sort of like collaborative development effort yeah i saw that they did confirm that despite tim the tap man's best efforts fall damage will remain in the game <laughs> <laughs> they tweeted that out today he's playing elden ring this week 
I saw or that. Jesus Disney. Christ. It's so funny to me that Tim kind of like made his name becoming like an Overwatch uh, <laughs> GM. Like, how far away from those days are we? Yeah, I don't think Timmy's that dent in his head couldn't get him any further into the game, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's any kind of development for anything. But it was funny. I was actually watching Tim the other day and uh he was playing like some it looked like he was playing scrims with uh, some players and uh, a, like a co a coach was like, Yeah, Tim, you actually played really well. He's like, You're <laughs> in really good positions, you're doing great. Like he wasn't actually busting his balls or anything like that. He's yeah. like, you're doing good. 